here Shalini here from Tech Gatha with a new video on escape sequences. We will directly dive into programming to understand what are escape sequence and why are they called as escape sequence. So let's get started. Open up the BlueJay and create a new class. We'll say new class and we will write, we'll give it a name as escape demo java ok open up the file delete whatever is there create a method public static void main string ARGS open and close square brackets and then open and closed curly brace. Now remember that if we want to print anything on the console, we use system.out.println and whatever we write in double quotes, it gets printed as it is. Now, right now we have a requirement where we want to print she said It's amazing learning experience with Tech Katha. I want to print this. I can just copy and I paste it over here and there are no errors and it gets printed. So we'll compile and let's see if we get the output. You see, we get the output as it is. Definitely nothing new over here. This we all know. Now the thing is, what about I want to print this? She said, double quotes open and double quotes closed. So I want this whole statement to be printed as it is. So again, let's go ahead and replace this. If you notice, you get an error over here and you can see this is in green. This is in black, not in green. The reason behind this is for the Java compiler, Double quotes are used for opening and closing a string literal. So double quote starts over here and Java compiler assumes the double quotes have been closed over here. This is one string literal and it doesn't understand what is this. It throws an error. I need to tell the Java compiler that hey, this double quotes have to be printed as it is and do not interpret them as the end of a string literal. To inform that to the compiler, just put a backward slash before the double quotes here and same way backward slash before the double quotes over here. Now compiler understands that this is a single character. Make sure there is no space. This is assumed as one character by the compiler. It is called as an escape sequence where we tell to the compiler Please do not give an error. Do not consider that as a string ending literal. Instead, print the double quotes as it is. So we are telling the compiler to escape the original meaning of the double quotes and use it to print as it is. Now if you go ahead, compile and run, you would see the output. Double quotes, we get it as it is. There are various escape sequences available. Let's go ahead and see few more. Now, supposedly I say system.out.print. Watch carefully. It's print, not print ln. When I say print ln means print line. So basically it prints this line and gives a break over here. Maybe you can say that represents an enter key. If I just write print and I'll say and again let's see where this statement gets printed. I save it, I compile, I execute can you see? Let's see if line breaks and okay where this gets printed. 
all occurs in one line the reason behind this is we wrote print hence it prints this statement and the line doesn't breaks and in sequence it prints now how about if i want to have a break line over here so i want it to print this and then break a line over here definitely i can use print ln and if i do this i compile you would see i again execute so let's see if line breaks yes indeed because we do have the print ln so it breaks the line and it prints this line over here now how about if i want to break it from here i want this to be printed on new line i can again write a sop ln and paste this over here or i can use an escape sequence that is slash n slash n represents a new line now when you compile this can you see let's see if line breaks then because it's print ln it goes on next line okay and slash n represents new line so whatever is after the, after the slash n gets printed on the next line same way you can also use instead of slash n an escape sequence which represents tab so if i use slash t in that case slash t is used for formatting so always for example you want to put spaces either you can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 then again you want to put space over here you'll count 1 2 3 4 5 6 instead you can just use slash t so i can say okay slash t where slash t i compile and now if you watch can you see okay where slash t is represents tab so the number of characters the tab leaves space is 6 so here also it leaves a space for 6 characters there is one more escape sequence which is of importance to show that i will be using something called as thread dot sleep now thread dot sleep is used just to have a delay in the execution i'll show you what is it the thing is are these are the requirements so don't worry about all these what i am writing throws interrupted exception and all but that's an requirement when i am using the thread dot sleep so these will be covered in the upcoming sessions but right now for us to be able to implement thread dot sleep we will have to write throws and import now thread dot sleep implies this represents milliseconds that means i am making it sleep say for 3 second now what is sleeping over here so sleep in the sense that i am providing a delay of execution between this line and the next line so you can see printed please wait if i compile and if i execute see 1 2 3 and then it gets printed so it is just used for providing a delay now i will be using one more escape sequence which is which i like it a lot so suppose i say slash f i save it one two three f is for flush so it flushes the previous output and then you get whatever you write after thread dot sleep so this is the way you can use escape sequences and because they escape the original meaning of uh, the characters it is called as escape sequence So with this we come to an end of this video happy learning take care and bye bye